all in blue. Wow. Third season of the uh, Jackson Cup. They've merged in some of the former Superbike riders. It's up to 21, but it's not a national championship, so they've merged in some of those guys like Dan Medham on number 16. Andrew Stroud and Lachlan Lepers is riding a Superbike and that. Uh, Sloan Frost was due to do it, but with uh, three Superbikes in the team, um, he elected to pass his bike on, I think, to Turiana Banks. Uh, she was she was just called up out of the pits. You're riding, so uh, she's on the number uh, 14 bike there and 16th on the group. But Jesse Stroud in a class of his own yesterday, got a clean road in front of him. And that's Jesse out there in the front, the little diminutive bike. He's, do you know when Randy Mamela came out to New Zealand in the 70s? Randy, we had out at the MotoGP of uh, the Moto Fest in Hampton Downs a couple of years ago. Um, Jesse was a little tiny person and I researched Randy Mamela and Randy when he came out to New Zealand was he's just 16 years old was three centimetres shorter than young uh, Jesse Stroud and look at the, the power to weight ratio must be awesome out here for but it's a rideability it's, it's just there's a New Zealand Superbike champion son nine times New Zealand Superbike champion son and he's been following his dad forever and look at the way he's riding that bike so great to have all these guys on the field there a few women out there especially Lucy Dowman qualified on the front row in fourth position from Wong Yui. So that is outstanding, you know. We've got a lot of women in this morning, particularly side cars. We had an all-female podium. Three girls on the podium yesterday with three males there doing the riding and the passengering. So I've just talked to the Taupo Motorsport media people and said that is worthy of news. So they're happy that I talked to them about that. So Brad Ritchie, look at the Jixa Cups here on the short circuit. Yeah, what a class act, Jesse Stroud. He's got the number one on the bike. That is uh, because he is the Suzuki uh, Jixa Cup champion from last year. So here he is. Uh, he is out of turn 14. We've got one down in the flip-flop. So uh, unfortunate there. Just uh, gets off the racing line straight away. But uh, we go racing. Jesse Stroud, that's the 27 of Caleb Gilmore uh, there in second place. Dennis Charlotte's up into third place on the 38. Rockland Epperson uh, fourth. And then go to Daniel Wedderman fifth. So we've got a couple of the legends in there mixing up with the young people. Lucy Dowman's down into sixth place. Andrew Stroud in seventh uh, with Hamish Simpson, Justin Maunder. And uh, there we go with the update there. So I think uh, Richard Boyd's the one that hasn't come through on the timing screen. So what uh, Richard Boyd, the one dropping it in the flip-flop, he's self-recovered as well. So uh, full credit to that young man. Absolutely brilliant when you can do that. He got straight up and off the racing line and he self-recovered the bike out of, out of harm's way. Uh, that's actually brilliant. So uh, the Jixa Cup, uh, building future champions and already look at the race knowledge and the race craft from these young guys, Spider. Look at that. Already he's bending down to check out his bike to see what he needs. And one of the greatest things about this Jixa Cup class is there's a lot of newcomers to the sport who come from Speedway and Motocross. They didn't know how to prepare a race bike. They don't know what to do in terms of a spares package and that. They don't need to worry about how many handlebars they need over the season. The Suzuki Cup truck is here with handlebars and fairings and bits and pieces, and it's all hugely affordably priced. So that's it. You don't need to spend $600 on spares. That's all in the truck. So he's already doing an inventory on what he needs. He'll go back in and get back out there as well. So after any crash today, any rider comes down, they must get a medical check uh, and their bike re -scrutiny. In a situation where a rider's got two bikes, that's fine as long as the other bikes... You know, the, the, but the, oh, we got another one down in that corner as well. Tumble, look at that. Oh, but he's on the track. That's the difference. He's right there, but luckily a yellow flag, and he's doing the right thing, jumping out of the way. Just want to shout out there for uh, young Richard, who had that uh, fall on that uh, previous lap. He's supported by Underwood and Wilkins. A special hi today to uh, Richard Underwood from Underwood and Wilkins. Long-time road race follower, a man who's made trips to the Burt Munro, of course, Cemetery Circuit, and he's here today. I just uh, knocked into Richard there. So thank you, Richard, for supporting these up-and-coming riders, and although you've come to watch your man, another Richard uh, today, he's had a little bit of a tumble. He's certainly done all the right thing as we quickly get some officials over there, because uh, that rider himself has been more concerned with his own. He actually hit the ground harder. The, the previous one from Richard was just a, a classic front wheel there. Although that one was, the bike did a little bit of a spin around and potentially gone there. So, oh, now Brad, who are you picking up? I think it might be Lucy Down, and I think uh, that's the one who hasn't come through the timing screen. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, can't quite see the number from where we are, but uh, the update there, I think uh, Lucy Downman might have been the one that fall, who right running in there at uh, top six at and uh, drama so uh, definitely quite uh, slippery still with that track um, i'd give her eight out of ten for that pirouette down the track in the wet the way <laughs> she flew around but she's up and she's walking back and there's the hair coming out so lucy dalman also a passenger on a road racing sidecar so the important thing is she's up and okay and the management have got the bike off the track so it's not hindering the progress of the races so uh, and she knows exactly the line to head to here spider notice that as well she's coming in behind the barrier the right thing to do looking after her welfare so uh, even some of our more experienced riders have got a little bit to learn from these people are taking a note of the rules and doing the right thing 
I think she probably wants to get under that van to get out of the rain, but the rain's <laughs> gone away. The rain's <laughs> taken 10 seconds off the lap time. The, the difficult thing for these riders out here, they haven't practiced on this circuit in the wet, and even one warm-up lap makes it tough to see that. Somebody's leg up there coming through just past that flip-flop, so a bit of a moment for them, and they were in third place. So I'm going to... Is that possibly Dennis Charlotte was up there in third place? No, it was number 24. So Dennis Charlotte up there into second place. Well, this is good because yesterday he was back around the 12th and the 13th, and he's one of our three former New Zealand Superbike champion, ch champions, or current. We've got Andrew Stroud, Dan Mentum, and uh, Dennis Charlotte. And, of course, there's about seven places between Dennis and, uh, and Andrew, and there'll be a bit of Andrew in the pits, but right now it's the other way around. Where is indeed Andrew Stroud? Andrew Stroud's back in six, and, I mean, this class has been running for three years at uh, the Suzuki Series and now the Suzuki International Series and the New Zealand Superbike Championships and it's always had street cred for me, it's growing future champions. But to throw these champions on the track with them, mate, it just brings more credibility to the class and the kids are just sometimes whipping their butts out there on the track and it's really great to have those. And of course we've got to acknowledge Lockie Epesawa who's also riding the Superbike. I went to the Grand Prix this year in Phillip Island and he was the fastest domestic superbike out there, 304 k's an hour. Well, he puts you a bit lucky to do 34 k's an hour, but that's what it's about. It's bringing the, the, the competitiveness. They might be the slowest bikes on the track, but they're certainly spectacular all the way through and well presented as well. Laugh, talk, eat, kiss and breathe. It's vital. It's all about your uh, total oral health. It's the dentist on 0800 843 336. Better oral health for a better life at www.tv td.co.nz that dentist massive thanks to that dentist i think it's something we sort of take for granted until you have to go to the dentist and then you start to realize in life man you have you got to look after them your total oral health experts the dentist proud to be sponsoring suzuki jixa cup and uh, brad this new format for this year having those mentors on board it's purely given us some more riders isn't that what we want yeah, absolutely and have a look at one of the mentors looking up the inside into turn one dennis charlotte uh, looking to uh, get a move uh, done for the uh, race lead he's definitely in there nice and narrow can he get it uh, stopped in time i think he might have been able to do that so uh, dennis charlotte uh, a former multi-time uh, road racing champion. Hasn't quite got the move done yet, but uh, there it is. Dennis Charlotte uh, under pressure now into the S's, but uh, there we go, he got it done. And then uh, we've also got Hamish Simpson. What a ride from Hamish. He was uh, outside the top 10 yesterday and now running in second place. He's picked off Jesse as well. So uh, Jesse Stroud uh, led across the line, but already three corners in and he's uh, down in third place. Well, I bet you this is an example. I'd love to find out the background for uh, uh, Hamish, but i tell you what, I bet he's had something to do with uh, riding in wet conditions or maybe at mud motocross or something like that, Brad, because uh, straight away you go and the only thing to compare yesterday to today is in the weather and there's a kid that's gone from 10th place to straight into second and now here's Jesse struggling to try and get back in there. I just get the idea Jesse might have had a moment or something out there because uh, he appeared to have that big lead that all of a sudden just vanished and now that those guys have come back at him he's uh, having it as a struggle to try and get back on them. Yeah, Kios, he's also playing the long game. We've got six races. I'm not sure whether he's able to uh, compete at Wanganui or is competing at Wanganui. In fact, it will, no, he's not even entered on the... Uh, on the list there, so uh, he, he, the other two riders might just be better at adapting to the, the, the new track, and when I say new track, the wet weather track, so already we're getting two or three seconds a lap quicker during it, so that shows the track's dry and the guys are, so maybe Jesse's just just reluctant to just push it that far because he might have had a couple of moments, so that's it. How the irony of being sponsored by the dentist, I reckon half of these riders, because it's 14 to 21, half of these riders are probably funding their racing from the what the Tooth Fairy pays them. <laughs> Jeep is a different tooth fairy to the one I remember, a spider. If it's going to pay for racing, I wouldn't have even paid for the uh, valve cap on the tyre. Yeah, well, we'll ask the son what he gets as the tooth fairy. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have that subject later on. But uh, great Jitsa Cup class. We've got two laps to go here at Bruce McLaren Motorsport Park. Yeah, there he goes, cutting it back up on the inside, so uh, trying to make it look uh, good there at this stage. But uh, look at that from Dennis and Hamish, and just finding this so enjoyable to watch Hamish, the uh, Waioku man there, sponsored by Mum, Dad and Tana Group. I love that. Well done. Mum, Dad go to the top of the list. And uh, after all, every uh, person that's ever started in road racing, I'm sure, has actually been sponsored by Mum and Dad. And well done to Mum and Dad. If you're here today, if you're listening, congratulations. Thanks for investing. I don't call it sponsorship. I call it investing. Investing in your children's future, because this is way better. We're seeing the ads now that are telling us, isn't it? This is way better than being at home on a couch or on a PlayStation or something else and not to knock that as a game but uh, certainly the balance of life and man I mean which of this kid's having the greatest buzz of his life out there at the moment Dennis Charlotte he probably even uh, has never heard of uh, Dennis probably coming to this race meeting and that's a little bit naive of me to say but to get the idea of a young teenager coming out of uh, counties uh, Auckland it's compared to a legend of our sport like Dennis Charlotte so good to see and now look what's happened as well because we've got a little bit of a brunch Brad who's that to come up and join them that's Andrew Stroud in fourth place oh. Andrew Stroud, uh, 
tucked on to uh, the back of his son. So uh, this is going to be Ooh. all on here. The white flag is ready and waiting. We're going to have one lap to go. And uh, it is still Dennis Charlotte ahead of Hamish Simpson, Jesse Stroud and Andrew Stroud. Uh, a four-way fight. And uh, have a look at that. Uh, look at the size of the boys. You know, this is the thing that impresses me about Andrew Stroud. But a yellow flag out at turn one there. So no passing here. But the, the, imp the interesting thing, I'd love to know the power to weight ratio. The bikes are all evenly matched. They're not allowed to be modified. So Andrew Stroud is a big man. He's six foot odd. And uh, he's on the same horsepower and everything as his son in front. And his son's about, I would say, almost probably a third of his weight. So the power to weight ratio is quite incredible there. Dennis Charlotte still leads. We've got the white flag out. This is the final lap of the uh, first race today at the Suzuki International Series for 2019. Sorry. Wow. And the word Jixa, folks, comes out of the play on words for the GSX model, the famous GSX range that Suzuki have used for years. And Hardy, congrats to Suzuki. What a year they've had in MotoGP as well. Oh, as we go back to this one, oh, nearly had a dice to try and get back up on there. And there's a change. In fact, that's uh, Jesse. Jesse's got back. Hamish has gone back to third. So there we got uh, the front runner back with uh, Dennis in going to uh, Jesse. Oh, we've got a lap to go, but not the corners that count. This is the kind of part of the track that I'm sure Jesse would have felt better at. And now all of a sudden there's Dennis with some legs. Oh, I think he's going to be hard to beg back. In Anybody for that next one, I think the third place. Can Andrew get there and pass the young man, Hamer Simpson, who's uh, having a great run on debut here with our uh, Jixa Cup. But here we are for the uh, run, and we'll come down uh, through the flip-flop this time. Brad, can they hold it? Yeah, this is going to be all on. There's uh, definitely uh, a racing line starting to appear, but as soon as you try and pass someone off that racing line, it's a definitely a slippery track. But out of turn 14, they all get around there nice and uh, tidy. So it's going to be uh, the number one, Jesse Stroud, who's going to do it. Uh, and then we go the run for second. It's Dennis Charlotte on the timing screen. Just uh, one one hundredth of a second back to Hamish Simpson. So your podium, Jesse Stroud, Dennis Charlotte, Hamish Simpson, and then Andrew Stroud. That's your top four. What a great race that was there. Uh, you go to Tyron Coopers, Lachlan Eppis, Luca Durning, and uh, Cameron Goldfinch. And uh, look at that on the last lap round, Tyrone there with the fastest lap of the race down in uh, sixth place. So uh, there we go, all on there. Jixi wow, that's, 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 that's incredible, Tyrone Coopers. And um, what I said about Jesse Stroud struggling, and I'm trying to pay the well, what's going on in his head, mate. He was still at the front 1.2 seconds quicker on that last lap than Dennis Charlotte. So... Maybe he was just playing the waiting game. Congratulations to Tony uh, Tyrone Coopias on the number 33 machine. Where's uh, number 33 is uh, from Nelson. Oh, South Islander up here. So great to have him here. Brought to you by, uh, supported by Motorcycle in Canterbury, Bigger Motorcycle Centre, and Scott construction. Now Dennis has got to get out there and uh, go and race a sidecar shortly as well there Brad Ritchie. Yeah absolutely double classing today so great to have uh, Dennis on board with us and uh, they're coming into uh, Park Firm at the moment so we'll cross down to uh, Neil Ritchie who's got his microphone